OK, good evening. Uh, welcome back to our advanced Excel series of lectures. Uh, this is Mr. Orvin. I'm going to discuss now, and we are now in lesson number nine, which is all about pivot table. So what is a pivot table? Let me just share our presentation. Again, it's uploaded in our Moodle. OK, so this is our PowerPoint presentation. OK, what is a pivot table? A pivot table is a report that lets you summarize, analyze, explore, and present a summary of your data. So if you have um, some data or a table coming from a um, database, for example, database is mostly a uh, large chunk of data. So if you're going to uh, fetch the data going to Excel, for sure it's going to be large amount, like we're talking about at least a thousand rows and then uh, maybe several columns, like 20 columns, 30 columns. So we're talking about those kind of tables, okay? So because if you have a simpler table, then there's no need for a pivot table. But if you are talking about large uh, amount of data uh, presented as a table, um, large amount of rows, large amount of uh, columns, then we need pivot table. And what will it do? It will summarize, okay? It will summarize the table. So based only on some of your query or some of your uh, requirement, then you can have a smaller table, okay? So it's used to analyze. Let's say the filtering that you want to do can be done there in the pivot table, and mostly it will be uh, filtering. Uh, the adding up or some summation of some values, you can do that already there automatically. If not, you can also do count ifs there, uh, average or some basic functions. You can do that there. OK, so let's start or let's go to the next. So when you have a table, all you have to do is to highlight the whole table, by the way, and then uh, starting from the heading. OK, starting from the heading and the pivot table is actually on the insert tab, as you can see here and insert and then tables, pivot table, as simple as that. Then you will go to a dialog box wherein it says create pivot table dialog box. By default, since you already highlighted the table, then you have uh, select a table or range here. Uh, sometimes uh, there are Excel that the table is already uh, is already being prepared as a table or named as a table, then you just need to call that. OK, but for now, we're going to go simply with highlighting it and then you will see that it's already here, the range of that. OK, and then choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed on new worksheet. So you have a uh, first worksheet that's the uh, the original table and then you will create a pivot table to a new worksheet. If you want, you can put it there in the same worksheet, but I would prefer the new worksheet. So you just need to press OK here and then you'll go here. So this is how it will look like. So this is a new worksheet. Therefore, this is your pivot table. It doesn't have anything yet, but remember you will have a pivot tools, pivot table tools. OK. Pivot table tools, you have two tabs, analyze and design. So analyze is going to be like the mathematically uh, inclined functions to pivot tables and design is just a design like uh, it's a simple table. So if you want to add uh, some colors and anything you want to format it, you go for the design. OK, so another feature when you go to insert pivot table, you will have a pivot table fields here. OK, so the fields. Uh, here are the actually. Your columns, OK, you will put it, you will see that here. OK. Then you have uh, areas that you we can use later on. I'm going to show it to you. Now, our example. Okay, 
So filters, columns, rows, and values. So this is your pivot table. As long as you're clicking inside this box, you will see the pivot table fields and you can see this pivot table tools. And this is like an object, it's an added object. So if you put your cursor outside this one, you will not see this, okay? It's just a regular Excel. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so the ribbon for pivot table, pivot tables that I just told you is the analyze and the design. So the analyze is more on the mathematical uh, function or functions that can be used for the pivot table. And then you have the design. The design is just, you know, formatting your table. Okay, so parts of a pivot table, uh, as you can see here, I, once you click the columns that you're going to analyze, then it will automatically be shown here. And this is what your pivot table will look like. Okay, so let's uh, end this uh, presentation. And see our Excel file. Okay, so your Excel file is here. This is the table, Ross General Mer Merchandise. So you have sales person here, you have different region, the account, what number is that account, and then order amount, and then what month. So it's like you have person here who sold uh, something, a product, a merchandise, okay, with this amount in this day, or uh, month. Okay, in this amount, in this month, and then which region uh, did he or she uh, sold that uh, merchandise and what account number. There is a label for the account number for each uh, sale. Okay, so these are the tasks in, in here. Okay, task number one, what is the total amount sold by each his person? So the each sales person, if you will do it in a um, regular way, you're gonna click here, okay, filter, and then let's filter one person, and you're gonna total this, okay, or make it sum, okay. This is the thing that your pivot table can do easily, okay. So he can summarize all Abla Aljunebis sale okay and the amount that was sold okay so he can summarize that because if you're going to do this filtering you're gonna do it one by one one by one there's another way you can use sum if or count if uh, but as we said let's see how you can see uh, how can you apply pivot table okay in your uh, activity so i'm going to highlight the whole table here just until row number 100 and then that procedure is going to go for insert and then pivot table is here okay so when you press insert and then pivot table on the tables group this is what you will have a crea create pivot table dialog box so the first is uh, choose the data that you want to analyze since we already selected the table at first, so there's already a default. Okay, so that's fine already. Now, the next one is choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. So I always use new worksheet, uh, but you can use existing worksheets if you want. Um, you can select a location, but will not go to that. Uh, we're just going to press OK here. OK, so clearly this is your pivot table. You have pivot table tools here, analyze and design. OK, so as told you, as long as you're clicking inside, you will have the fields and this pivot table tools. If I click outside, then it will be gone. I click inside, then it will be here. Okay, let's answer the uh, task, task number one, is what's the total amount sold by each salesperson? 
slice can be used to filter the result. So we will use uh, discuss that slice. Let me just show you total amount sold by each salesperson. Each salesperson total amount. Let's go to the uh, fiber tables. All you have to do is to click the involved um, fields or what we call the columns. So we want salesperson and the amount they sold. Okay, as you can see, it's already here. The amount sold is already here. Okay. Now there is another thing that we can do here, as uh, as was what, what was mentioned here. Uh, slice can be used to filter the results. So I'm going to use a slicer later on, but let me just show you. So as you can see here, each person already have the sum of order amount. By default, there is this sum. If you want to change the function of that, you can click on the values or because as you can see salesperson by default, it went to the row. You can change that going to filters. You can change that going to columns. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to show it to you this one. If I put it to filter, this is how it will look like. Okay, if you choose person select multiple items abla then he will show you the amount okay you can do that but that's not what we're going to do right now i'm going to use a salesperson there select all first so that you will see everything by the way even the total grand total of all the sales is already here okay so that's by default let me just repeat. I just click this pack. Just click this, click this order amount. Okay. By default, it will go there. So as you can see, sum of order amount, it went to the values because he detected it's a number. So he will go there. Uh, so what will I do is just to change the value for field setting by clicking this one. Okay. And you can see here. You can see here the summary summarized value field by sum, count, average, max, mean, product, and some more uh, functions. Okay, uh, so you can show the value as it's not here, no calculation. So, but I'll just uh, show you this uh, functions that you can use. So by default, it's sum. If you want average, you can choose average. Okay, if you want max, mean whatever function, okay, whatever result you want. So by default in the task, we said the amount sold by each uh, salesperson, so it should be added, okay? That's why it's sum. Press OK and that's it. Okay, now we'll, we'll introduce the slicer in the pivot ta table tools, analyze. Okay, you can see here, insert a slicer, okay? So what is the slicer? A slicer is another type of filter. So earlier I've shown you that the salesperson, I put a filter and it already is here. So I'm gonna show it to you again. Maybe you missed it. Okay, so here I have a filter already for the salesperson. Click ABLA. See, ABLA is here and then the amount is 924. So, but I will not use that because I will introduce to you a slicer. So when I click insert slicer, I'll just click salesperson because they are the ones I'm going to filter. Here is your slicer. Okay, so click Abla, click Amit, click Anup, click Zar, and that's your uh, Slicer. So pivot table actually will make our lives easier if we have a very big table that we want to analyze or we want to present. Okay, easier. Okay, so I will stop with this video. This part of our lesson. So I will continue with the, the other tasks in our next videos. I will see you again. See you again.